G'day everybody, welcome back to Starfield. We are on Altair 4B, within enemy territory actually, because in the previous episode we came out here uh, hunting down a ecliptic mercenary member and uh, we've been clearing out all of the sentries and trying to sort of uh, make sure that we have a, a straight shot at trying to get to this guy um, but it seems like there might still be a little bit more going on down there I, I don't exactly see any enemies but uh, we'll investigate that area anyway potentially there might be some loot down there so let's get going uh, and yeah in the previous episode we literally spent the majority of it doing quite a bit of scanning here and there uh, we also picked up a brand new power, I guess that was probably the highlight, uh, and an interesting power, uh, I have to say. So it's something that you would essentially let uh, enemies uh, sort of forget about you for a little bit, so get them to de-aggro, so to speak, and um, by doing that, uh, you might actually be able to sort of hide away from them again and uh, deal even more uh, stealth damage if that was your playstyle. But uh, it would be a little bit tricky to sort of switch between Sense Star stuff and uh, and that new power uh, if, uh, if you really wanted to sort of maximize damage. Uh, I feel like it, it'd be a bit of a hassle. Uh, if only there was a way to sort of switch out your uh, Starborn power on the fly, that would be cool. But uh, I guess that's not really a thing. Alright, I guess we've come full circle here. I think I uh, sort of recognize this place. So, time to make our way into the building. See if we can actually deal with these uh, remaining ecliptic members. Okay, um, I'm not entirely sure why that robot's attacking uh, the ecliptic guys. Perhaps maybe I've sort of changed the friend-foe settings already and uh, it's sort of working for us now. We'll grab all of these things. Yeah, there's probably a few corpses here and there which I haven't exactly interacted with so hard to keep track of all of them. But anyway, um, yeah, it doesn't seem to be attacking us, which is good. So he can keep guard on the outside whilst we uh, continue our work indoors. Oh, okay, this guy got taken out. We'll take his stuff. And yeah, let's try and be sneaky beaky here, if we can. I don't think there's too many more of them, but... Just being extra careful. Take creds. Go down. Hmm. 
I'm pretty sure our objective is to actually kill one of these guys, but uh, the objective marker isn't exactly lighting up with a a person being um, identified when we use uh, the Ascent Star stuff, so I'm not entirely sure why that's the case. Maybe it might be bugged or something, or maybe the guy's dead already? Okay, this is maybe a little bit of a challenge here. Here we go. That one might fit as well. Yeah, that looks good. Alright. Uh, or we might be able to use this one. Yeah, I think this might be the answer. Or not. Actually, yes, these two. Okay, uh, and then just trying to figure out the back line here. So we can do either of those positions. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, I think that works. There we go. Oh my god. Really? <laughs> that was definitely not worth it. Ooh, got a potato. Yes, I'll take that. Um, I have a feeling I've probably, like, skipped a few potatoes here and there. Uh, because I don't exactly have it tagged, do I? Um, unfortunately there's no way to just tag a resource on its own, is there? You sort of need to look through a recipe and then tag. Um, unless there is a way to tag it. Um, yeah, aid, potato... Yeah, no, it doesn't look like we can actually tag anything from our inventory by itself, so... Uh, we need ten potatoes, if I'm not mistaken. So, three more to go. Unless we've got some potatoes sitting in the ship. We might have some potatoes sitting in the ship, actually. I should go look... Oh, okay, there we go. We, we do have them lighting up, so that's good. Nice. Okay, they're alerted now. Any... Oh, there we go. I was gonna say medical boxes, first aid kits. Oh, okay, we've been discovered. We are definitely still in danger. Let's switch out a little bit. We we'll use this rifle instead. Whoop. I like this pistol, but firing rate's not so good. Oh, 
Very nice. 3,200 creds. Decent. We'll take that. Obviously, once we sell all of the loot that we've managed to find from this place, we'll be even richer. Although, I haven't exactly picked up a lot of, like, weapons and armor or stuff like that that we can actually sell. Any decent ones, anyway. I am still adhering to a very strict... Ooh, Varun Scripture 9 permanently increases sneak bonus by 1% and melee sneak attack damage by 5%. Okay. Well, we're not really doing any melee uh, combat, but that's fine. At least the 1% sneak damage permanent increase is nice. Blue Neo City Poncho. Ooh, okay. We've got a random safe here. Try and get this open. Hopefully the reward is better than the last one. Does seem to be... Quite a bit more challenging, though. Yeah, okay, that's the only position, I think, we can work with. Uh, that works. Good. Um, that looks good, and that looks good as well. Now it's just time to figure out how to get this open. Yeah, okay, looking good. Brilliant. All right, that wasn't too bad. I'll take the Krez and the Digi pick, but I'll leave Moby, uh, Moby Dick behind. Not exactly the rarest book. There we go. Got a few more decent things. Uh, I was about to say that uh, I am still adhering to a very strict rule of only picking up things that are uh, blue, purple, or gold. Just so that we don't end up having to carry absolutely everything every single time and having to sort of deal with inventory issues constantly. Uh, I think we have no choice but to spend one of our uh, single single pronged locks here. Uh, okay, that could work with another single one if we really wanted to. Um, then this one can be used on the back line. Let's just figure out where this goes, like so. That can go there. Yeah. Good. Alright, well, uh, unfortunately, that was not worthwhile. Oh, actually, maybe it was. We have a cornered modified Razorback. I'll take that. I will sell that. We'll use the wine. Any potatoes in here? Milk stout. Uh, milk stout. Absolutely disgusting. Um, we'll consume that. Maybe we should be taking the perk that lets us recover more HP from food. If we're, you know, thinking of just eating things constantly. A meal tray. We'll eat all their toast as well. Uh... 
Ooh, potatoes. Yes. Yes, please. All right, I think we're done, right? We've looted the entire area, I feel. Uh, unless I'm missing anything on the tables or... Oh, we've got some helmets here. Hopefully this one's worthwhile. Yeah, not a lot of options here for the front line. Could use that, or... Yeah, we could use that as well, but this fits in all of the... Uh, the locks. And this is a, a, our only single-pronged... key. Or pick. Whatever you want to call it. Um, let me just double check that we don't have any other options here. Yeah, okay, so no matter how we do things here, uh, even if we start with this, I don't think we would have anything else that would be able to open uh, this layer. So I think this is the only choice. position this and I think that goes there right doing okay I think uh, and then we'll probably need that all right definitely wasn't worth it <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just the experience. Alright, I think we're done here. So, um, let me just take a look at what we need to do for this planet. Okay, we do need to, uh, sort of look around a little bit more. Uh, see if we can find those resources. And, uh, there's, I think, one or two points of interest that we need to find as well. So, let's go out there and see what we can find. Um, oh, got a few structures. Um, I don't exactly see any formations or anything like that that we would want to go to. Maybe this is not such a good place to be after all. I'm sure there's only one type of biome on this planet as well, so... Um... It's not like we can... Really... Uh... You know... Determine... From the planetary map where we might be able to find something of interest. Hopefully this will give us what we need. It's just the one question mark, actually, so... Fingers crossed. Yeah, and a couple of other resources here. There's one. Chlorine. And we need to find Xenon as well. Unexplored geological feature. There we go. Magma percolates mineralized groundwater to produce massive crystals in a cluster forming uh, from a central source. Okay, cool. And I mean, that's about it. Oh, actually, there we go. That's the xenon that we need, and we should be able to get out of here after that. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, so. Uh, what I want to do is, I actually just want to quickly check if we've got extra potatoes on the ship. 
and if we do, then obviously we know what to do next. Uh, which is going to the... Uh, I think it's called the ECS constant. Uh, so let's get up and let's quickly check our stash. Unless it's sitting in the Azure 1, which would be kind of disappointing because, yeah, don't forget we have changed uh, changed ships recently. Um, Alright, so the Frontier has... The Frontier has potatoes, guys. <laughs> so, I'm gonna take the potatoes. I think it's 10 potatoes that we need. Uh, let me just double check that we've got 10 potatoes now. Nope, we need one more. My bad. I thought we found a couple of potatoes. I guess maybe we had seven. Potatoes. Where is it? Oh, sorry. I'm looking at resources. Aid. There we go. Much better. All right. Cool. Uh, well, with that, we can hopefully uh, convince the captain of the ECS Constant to let go of, uh, I forget the person who wants to leave, but, uh, anyway, the captain's name is Diana, so let's head there and let's see what she says about it. Now, the problem that I foresee is that other people might want to leave as well, which, uh, isn't ideal. Oh, um... Uh, yes, we are in Horima 2's orbit, but I can't exactly find their location. Uh, unless I'm supposed to go to the activities and find the location there, I seem to recall that we could do that. Uh, location of the ECS constant. Um, okay, but they ain't here, um, yeah, this is where Paradiso is, I thought they would have left already, hmm, strange. I'll come back to this quest, guys, and uh, we'll, we'll maybe just look at some other stuff. I was getting a little bit excited there for a second, though. Uh, but, uh, I think... Look, how many powers do we have? We've got... Um, got a few more. Three more. I don't know if this one is a special one, because it doesn't actually give us the planet name. Um, whereas the other ones do. Uh, this is obviously an important part of the quest line, Unity, uh, and I feel like we should be getting into that sometime soon. Uh, or accidents happen. Uh, I think we'll go with Eye of the Storm and Burden of Proof, uh, and it's time for us to go back to uh, dealing with these pirates. So, let's do it. Let's go to the UC Vigilance. I probably do need to change into my pirate gear, though. We'll do that in a second. Another jump down. Take that, dead. Alright, let's quickly stand up. And let's get out of these fatigues. 
put on something more appropriate for what we're doing. Uh, let's just check if uh, we've got the stuff in here. Yeah, we were using the pirate sniper outfit for a while, weren't we? Uh, I'll use the assault uh, spacesuit. Because that kind of looks a bit cooler, in my opinion. And yeah, we may as well use the pirate assault space helmet as well. Which means that we should be able to stash the stuff that we're not using. So let's use that and let's use uh, that right there. Let me just stash away stuff that we want to keep, obviously. The Bounty Hunter spacesuit has been doing really well for us, actually. So really happy that we have that. Um, that will keep as well. And I think we probably also want some apparel here, although I can't see any apparel in here. Um, maybe it's stashed away here. Pirate swashbuckler gear. Exactly what we want. So, let's chuck that in there. And let's put the pirate swashbuckler gear on. And I think we're good to go. Okay, so the first things first is we'll have a chat with uh, Lieutenant Hoff, uh, Holt, Hoft, Holt. I can't remember now. How's the pirating business? I don't know about you. Uh, have we spoken to this person before? I feel like maybe not. What do you mean by that? People who work undercover, they're sneaky by nature, hard to read. When I fly, I want someone beside me who I can predict. Boxes by the Marquess of Queensbury rules. But you, you're a Southpaw, a wild card. That's understandable. I'm new here. Eh, that isn't it. We've got plenty of green pilots picked right from the Academy. But yours happen to come from a different farm. Vanguard. <sighs> but if Commander Ikande says you're Sistef, then you are one of us. For now. Where'd you learn to fly? I cut my teeth on space trucks, believe it or not. Before I got my stripes, I was just another cargo hauler trying to earn an honest wage. But after a couple slick escapes, I got recruited to the academy and went from dodging pirates to hunting them. Thing is, some of my best tricks were with a big rig. Ever try a pitchback with a Hope Tech truck with two fleet wraiths on your tail? Compared to that, doing it with a military fighter is a piece of cake. How did you get involved with Sysdef? Long story. I got my start in the academy and made a name for myself hunting the Crimson Fleet. I eventually got recruited to do test flights on a star station orbiting Lloyden's Rock. Me and three other Archangel pilots did some work on some extremely dangerous prototypes. But I called in a few favors and got back home with Sistef. Someone with my talents needs to be here, where the action is. Archangel pilots. Okay, they sound kind of familiar. Actually, we do have an option for it. 
So the classified star station you mentioned, was it SY920? Yeah, it was. And you can probably guess what project it was for. Might have I ask you some questions about SY920? Yeah, I thought you might. I heard the fleet sent you up there for some more pirate work. Even more impressive, you managed to do it without taking any lives. Maybe I misjudged you. That's more than I can say for myself, given the history of Project Archangel. How did you get involved in the project? I was one of four pilots recruited for the program. My codename was Azrael. At the time, I embraced the name, the Angel of Death hunting Crimson Fleet pirates in a prototype ship. But even for an angel, pride always comes before the fall. Yeah, I think I recall that while we were sneaking around in that star station, we um, did come across a few computers uh, that outlined the project and the various pilots, including this Archangel. So, uh, or sorry, this Azriel, rather. Uh, what was Project Archangel about? testing prototype fighter ships, experimental engines, weaponry, the works. The four of us were the best of the best. Emphasis on the were. There must be a reason you are no longer on the project. The official word as I was transferred back to SysDef because the need was great. The reality is I was kicked off the unit. I was so bored on that station, I spent all my time in the barracks drinking cases of smuggled booze. When the time came for my test flight, I was so wasted, one of the others had to cover for me. The engine caught fire right after takeoff. Pilot, crew, gone in a flash. Ooh, okay, so... I guess we may have picked something up on the station for this option to appear. I found proof of fraud and systemic cuts to safety and security. It wasn't your fault. Is that right? I guess that lets me off the hook with the jailers, but not with the judge upstairs. I appreciate what you're trying to do though. Just give me some time to process it. United Colony System Defense at your service. My family's all in the UC Navy, but being SysDef, I got brag things. All right. Interesting that we get to meet a pilot that has been from that station. I saw one of the ensigns get an Alpha Centauri from Officer Petrosian. All support ships have arrived, Commander. Good. After we're done here, arrange a briefing. I want all of their CEOs over here as soon as possible. Those pirates are going to yes, look sir. like fools when we take the legacy from under their noses. Alright. So, this is where we're probably going to start needing to make some choices. Uh, Lieutenant Toft? The commander appreciates the sacrifice you've made. Going undercover. Uh, are you familiar with the key's defenses? Anything you can tell us would be helpful. Mm, Jasmine Durand is trying to get the key's defensive batteries online. Damn it. I was afraid of that. I'll warn our ships to use looser formations. Hopefully Durand isn't as clever as she thinks she is, or you can help us take the batteries down when the attack begins. Was that all? They're rounding up as many captains as they can bulk. Uh, sorry, as they can to bulk up their fleet. Yeah, I heard they even sent word to some of the contacts you met. They're writing an awful lot of checks they can't cover without Crix's legacy, but we'll be ready for them. Anything else? Uh, that's it for now. Okay, well, if anything else springs to mind before you leave, please let me know. Alright, uh... Are you gonna be able to decrypt Crix's legacy once I bring it back to the Vigilance? Even as long ago as the Narian War, Galbank used an extremely potent level of encryption on their currency. Unfortunately, the unlock ciphers are lost to time. However, if you can bring us one of Galbank's old transfer modules, I know it would help. Don't worry, I'm sure some of the techs at Mass will be able to work with whatever you bring to reverse the encryption. Okay, alright. Uh, and that's exactly what the, uh, what the Crimson Fleet want as well, those, uh, 
I think they want two of them, actually. We'll be here if you need us. For decryption. But anyway. Uh, oh, Anything my bad. Almost forgot we have some evidence. Hmm. Glad to hear it. Let's see what you got. Grab this from a uh, Genardine executive's office. Uh, pretty damning stuff. Benjamin Bayou, pride of the Free Star Collective. The authorities there have been trying to nail him for a long time. Bringing us proof that he's been manipulating Genardine from the shadows is pretty tasty stuff. The FC will pay dearly for this. Good job. Any other fragments? That's all I have for now. Okay. Fine, fine. I know there's more out there, so keep on it. Benjamin Bayou. Let me know if you need anything else. So are we saying that Benjamin Bayou will be on the vigilance? He would be, like, arrested? I mean, he seems a little bit too powerful, though. Just looking around a little bit. Can't remember if we've been down here yes. or not. What? Any magazines to read? Maybe no. Alright. Well, I think it's time to progress this storyline and I assume uh, progress it to its conclusion. There you are. Where have you been? What's the emergency? We're about to pull the trigger on the largest scale operation in UC Sysdev history. All of our ships, personnel and resources have been waiting for your report. Lives are potentially hanging in the balance. So you'll have to forgive me for being so impatient when I ask where the hell you've been. I've been risking my damn life to bring down the fleet. Don't mistake what you're doing as some sort of heroic gesture. We're all risking our lives here. I've received the reports about your little foray into Genadine. Last piece of the puzzle before you go after Crix's legacy. Which means it's time to put all the cards on the table and prepare to attack the key. They're in quite the panic over there. Good. The more confusion and panic we cause, the more damage we can potentially inflict. Before you jump to Bannock 4, I need to make one thing abundantly clear. The credits from that Gal Bank transport cannot reach the fleet. You have to bring them here at all costs. If Delgado gains access to those resources, we might be touching off a battle we can't possibly win. We've been monitoring the Crimson Fleet's comm chatter and the Crick system. They're gathering allies by making promises based on your success. As much as I hate to admit it, UC Sysdev won't stand a chance. The fleet will become stronger and more unified than ever. So, no pressure then. Hey, don't worry about it. You've come this far. We know you've got what it takes to bring the prize home. Well said, Lieutenant. All right, I guess this is it. Do whatever prep you need to do aboard the Vigilance, and then head out to Bannock 4. When you return here with Crix's legacy, we'll begin the attack. Good luck. How did you convince the UC to authorize the, uh, the attack? The evidence you've been bringing to Lieutenant Toft has been instrumental in convincing the brass at mast to greenlight the attack. They've sent us support ships, extra troops, weapons. All on account of your role in the operation. To put it simply, if it wasn't for you, this operation would be at a standstill. What'll happen to Crix's legacy after I bring it to... Uh, UC Sysdef. At some point the During the end of the Narion War, the, the money was destined to bolster the Freestar Collective's coffers. Even though we were rivals at the time, and I suppose we still are to some extent, the credits still rightfully belong to their people. After the money is turned over to Mast, I'm certain arrangements will be made to return the money to the proper authorities in Aquila City. Okay, right. That's kind of interesting because... I guess the UC don't exactly benefit from gaining Crix's legacy. Uh, we're just preventing the Crimson Fleet from getting access to it. 
stay focused. Uh, and in fact, it could actually improve relations with the Freestar Collective as well. So, interesting. So, let's take a look at this. So, proceed to Bannock 4. Sure, we will do that. Now, uh, one thing that I have forgotten, though, is that we actually need a couple of special modules on the ship to actually proceed to the planet and actually try and land on it or try to find Crix's legacy, right? So, um, I might actually need to go back to the key right now. And, uh, we'll actually need to... Uh, make sure that we get those modules installed. We're unlatched, free and clear. Alright, so let's take a look. Yeah, we're right next to Crix already. It makes sense because uh, I guess the Vigilance has moved in closer. So what I really want to know is what happens to the key once we complete this quest line. Will it just completely be obliterated or will we still have access to it somehow? And yeah, I guess I also wonder at this point if there is a way to prevent these guys from actually fighting each other and uh, for us to sort of continue the status quo almost, but I don't know, that might be a little bit boring. I guess if I really wanted to, I could simply just Captain, let these guys, uh, you know, just do their thing and not even progress the storyline. <laughs> but yeah, I I don't think I'll do that. Righto, uh, let's check on the uh, on the ship modules here. So sounds like fun. Let's see what I. All right, so shipbuilder and let's just. Make sure that we have it here. Equipment, comm spike, and conduction grid, right? So let's put these things on. I'll probably make the ship slightly heavier, but we need it. Comm spike and... There we go, conduction grid. Righto, I think we're ready. I heard Isla's sister is some hardcore mercenary. I would okay, um, you know, while we're here, guys, we might actually do a lot of our selling. You want to survive? Because, um, be these guys are probably going to disappear after the attack on the key. Uh, and, yeah, I'm, I'm a little it's bit sad about it because, I'm like, got it. um, I'm sort of wondering whether or not there were some opportunities here that I've missed. Um... Yeah, we got the trade authority here. I might actually start with the trade authority because uh, we can Let's most we certainly make the I'm most sure money out. by speaking to these guys. Got eleven thousand. Let's sell. Yeah, I kind of want to keep this suppressed refined XM uh, two three one one. Though it is sort of a basic weapon, isn't it? I mean, maybe I could get rid of it. There's a lot of money. I'll keep it for now. Uh, we'll let go of these things, weighing us down. Get rid of that. And I think we've got some mines. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think we're looking decent. Your credits are always good at the Trade Authority. All right. I'm just going to quickly hope you came with chat with various people pleasure. just to see if there are any sort of additional things that pop up at this point. We call UCC staff sharks, but to the fleet, they are just bait. <laughs> no prices. Stay safe out there. All right, make it quick. They're done here. Great. Rook. You don't make it in this life without a good weapon. Need more weapons or ammo? Come see me. Okay. I don't think these guys ever give us any quests or anything yeah. like that, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, maybe a bit of a missed opportunity. I uh, like my weapons like I like my coffee. What about coffee. this guy? If you Shinya. want to add that, those mission boards aren't going to clear themselves. Until next time. Yeah, okay. It just explains what some of the missions are. You check for, out the um, Reckoner's core? She's a beaut, ain't she? For what we can do from the key. Pirate missions, that is. Which is, eh. Not really stuff that we want to get into. Not keen on picking up more bounties and stuff. Alright, well... Uh, without further ado, let us get ourselves to Bannock 4 and see what's out there. Um, I thought it was like some kind of a gas giant, but maybe I was wrong. Maybe it is some kind of planet that we could land on, provided that we've got the right modules. My bad, we should have just gone to the cockpit directly. Anyway. All good. All good. Righto. Okay. <laughs> Bannock. The Bannock system is actually quite far away, so let's maybe head to Hyla 1 initially. Some random space tour. I'm happy to answer questions. So helpful. All right. Who's up? First question. Is being a ship captain non-stop thrills and excitement like living in that movie Return of the Interceptor? Return of the Interceptor. Can't say that I've seen that one, but... There's danger, but it's not glamorous like the movies. Oh, I was kind of hoping there would be thrills all over the place. I am sure the captain is really busy and may not have time for all your questions. If you can afford your very own ship, you must be super well off. You single? Oh dear lord. Um, 
I'm single and in the market. Uh, we have to move along. Next, next, <laughs> next question. Let's... Space is a lawless mess. If you could make the damn politicians fix one thing about it, what would it be? Mm, the problem is a lot of space is unaligned, so no one is responsible for it. So you want more government interference? Yeah, that seems like such a good idea. <laughs> Thank you, a Captain. A bit of a skeptic here. The, uh, welcome break. I've got a question. Is it true captains have someone in every port? You know, a special someone for Lamar? Awesome. You don't have to answer that. <laughs> uh, space travel is just like the romance novels, except juicier. I knew it. I knew it. That's all. Everyone settle back in your seats. I cut the intercom? You have the patience of a saint. This tour group is very energetic. Here's some credits for giving them such an authentic experience. This is your captain speaking. We're about to head to our next destination. Remember, we'll be in Neon in five days, so don't spend all your money yet. Astral Lounge, here I come! Dear Lord. <laughs> uh, Alright. Well, that was the easiest 5,000 creds that we've made. Um, okay, so where are we? Oh yes, we're at Hyla 1. Look, uh, tempting to just explore, but I feel like I do want to get this stuff done with the Crimson Fleet. So let's head over to Bannock system. And try and get ourselves to Bannock 4. Okay, we are at Bannock 4, and look at that, we are being struck by lightning. There's definitely some kind of electric discharge going on in what appears to be some kind of a nebula here. Uh, but apparently, this Galbank transport might actually be right in front of us. We can hear some kind of signal. Are we not alone here? Because if we're not, that'll be kind of interesting. Like, how do these other people have tech to actually get here? Uh, one thing that I do want to do is actually just take a look at Bannock 4. Yeah, it is a gas giant, isn't it? Yeah, so we're not exactly landing on the planet. But it seems that the Galbank transport has essentially been uh, disabled and, uh, I guess, trapped in orbit. There it is. A legacy. Alright, let's get ourselves docked. I don't really know how safe we are with all of this electrical discharge, but... Get in there. Warning, an emergency launch 
So I'm not sure if we're going to expect to have to fight some of the security defenses Captain, that might be active. You require my assistance? Potentially. Okay, nothing too interesting there. Vasco, you can guard the ship, thank you very much. I'm um, just trying to think of what weapons we should use. Maybe we'll go back to the Grendel and uh, see if that'll do the trick for us, but I don't suppose there would be anyone alive on the ship, so maybe doing Sense Star stuff is a little bit pointless. Uh, and seeing as it might be pointless, maybe we should uh, do something like anti-grav field. Anti-grav field seems a little bit overpowered as well, but I guess when we start fighting Starborn a little bit more often, maybe it's not going to be so powerful after all, because they seem to be unaffected. Okay, it's caved in. Take that. And yeah, it seems like um, we may have hit a brick wall when it comes to the variety of weapons uh, in this game. Seems like we may have seen all of what the game has to offer. There we go. Uh, unless perhaps maybe there's some more stuff where uh, you know, it's really only unlockable through crafting and the like. Potentially. Although, actually, I take that back because there possibly is more stuff when we start going into Varun territory. Which I feel like we still haven't gone into Varun space. Uh, GBLR001, Adrift. Crew recording initiated. Alright, the system should be all set up. Just shout out when you want the computer to record. Should work for everyone. Okay, fine. Now, give me the bad news. The bad news is that our engines and grav drives are destroyed and we're drifting toward Bannock 4. Wait, doesn't that put a smack into Bannock's EM field? We hit that, every circuit on the ship will overload! Easy, Simmons. What's this be about it? Huh? She's right. We end up in that electromagnetic radiation and we're dead. Hey, there's no need to talk like that. It's Simmons' first time out. Can't you see she's scared? Yeah, Bakara, pipe down. You aren't helping. Everyone stop. Right now, we all need to take a breath. We're in bad shape, but I need everyone alert and level-headed so we can figure a way out of this mess. Osterholt, you're my engineer. Give me options. We don't have any options. Kellner and I need to work on a shielding solution. Fixing the propulsion isn't even on the table. Fine. You two get on it. Simmons and Bakara, I want you to walk the ship and give me a full damage report. Mayfield, see if you can help Aguilar with that arm injury. Let's move out, people. Crew recording terminated. Okay. I guess the crew never made it out alive? Perhaps? I don't know if there are, like, you know, escape shuttles or something along those lines in these ships. You would assume a ship as big as this would have stuff like that, although maybe not. It's a little bit creepy here with no one around and no security.
Ooh, I'll take that. GBLR006, Lost Soul. Crew recording initiated. I wouldn't go near Osterholt. He's drunk and he's got a pistol. Oh my god, are you alright? Tell me exactly what happened. I, I was bringing Osterholt his food. When I got near the Craig Tank vault entrance, I found him sitting on the floor. Bottle in one hand, gun in the other. Did he say anything directly to you? Anything threatening? No, he just stared at me and kept drinking from the bottle. The gun wasn't even pointed my way. What's happening to him, Captain? What's happening to all of us? First Bakara kills himself and now this? You have to help us! God damn it! I'm trying! I thought Bakara would be okay! How the hell did I know he'd never come out of that room alive? Everyone's looking to me for answers! Well, guess what? I don't have them. This whole thing's falling apart, and it's my fault. Captain, come back. Please. I'm sorry. You didn't do anything wrong, Simmons. I'll go talk to her. Crew recording terminated. Jeez. Yeah, it would have been a really dire situation. There's another recording there, actually. We could uh, actually have a look at that. But uh, considering where we are, I'm going to take a break here. And when we come back, obviously, we'll pick up the recording. We'll try and look for some more, obviously. Uh, that's probably the only things sort of uh, interesting on this ship. Aside from, obviously, getting ourselves to the objective while, obviously, looting uh, as we go. But, uh, yeah, that'll be in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this one, guys. And if you did, definitely leave a like down below. Aside from that, stay true. And I'll see you guys in the next one.